In this video, I'll show you how I used this tool here that I've made. It's a tool that I use when I'm writing uh, content for clients. Uh, it's a SAP gap finder. So I'll show you how I used this tool to create this video. This video titled How to Check the Word Count of Google Docs Inside Your Google Drive Without Opening Google Docs. So I use the tool to create that video or to research on the best way to create the content for that video such that it's I've posted it eight hours ago and now it's um, when you search for this term word count on Google Drive, you find it as the second result in in the US search results. And it's targeting a keyword on the word count of Google Docs. So this one is focused on word count of Google Docs inside the Google Drive. So um, I've used that tool that I've mentioned um, to create the content in the best way possible to feature a gap that was missing in the top 10 results that were targeting the keyword on uh, determining the word count or uh, in uh, in the Google Docs, and this video is uh, is intended also to um, to explain why I didn't mention this tool called Safa SEO, and I created the first video in my YouTube channel, uh, the video on how to write SEO content that ranks for multiple keywords. So this is the video here. And this is uh, my YouTube channel, as you can see. So uh, when I wrote, when I created that uh, video on how to write SEO content, that ranks for multiple keywords. I'm pretty sure someone would have wondered why I didn't mention Safa SEO as part of the content creation process. And there's a good reason why I didn't mention it, since most people, I think many people, use it as a quick way to create content and to create content, let's say, uh, that is optimized uh, to rank. Uh, but I use it in a different way. I use Safa SEO as the last part um, and any type of tool like that to check the content that are produced, not to create the content because when you check what Safa SEO does, um, when you check what does, uh, when you research on what does Safa SEO do, or basically if you have used it, uh, the Safa SEO content editor provides a detailed breakdown, a detailed breakdown of your competitor's content, including the number of words, headings, images, and links and also shows the keywords your competitors are targeting and provide suggestions for using them in your content. So basically, Safa SEO is using the top ranked content as sort of like, um, let's say, the parameter to against which you gauge the quality of your content. But there, there are quite a number. Okay, it's basically um, it works for someone 
who let's say if you want to get your content like the top content and then to defeat the competitor using your website authority or backlinks and anything else then suffer seo is good for that but if you want to compete with your competitor using your content more than just getting domain authority or links then you need a different strategy you are trying you, what you need is a tool that detects the deficiencies that the tool does two things this this tool i've mentioned here it does two things it detects the deficiencies in the top ranked pages while also indicating the the aspects that google actually considers uh, or expects to be included in that content so it's not just checking the deficiencies because when you check the deficiencies you might find maybe the top content has has maybe 500 words and you think maybe writing 2000 words will compete against it but it doesn't always apply like that so you need uh to find a marker from google that indicates that it's something that google will value and you need to detect you need to find the deficiency and also uh find uh something uh, an indicator that it is something that google values so let me just show you um i've saved a copy of what i did for that video that i've shown you and here i'm targeting the keyword on how to check how to check a uh, word count on google docs so that's the target keyword and this tool is more is actually just manual right now it's not automated uh if if anyone is interested in using this tool as it is i can um i can send it to you uh since it's my personal tool maybe i'll charge maybe just a small amount of uh, maybe um it can be just five dollars that's all and basically it's not connected to maybe any online platform it's just man manual and i can make it automated but then if i make it automated i'll have to connect it to an api that gets keywords from uh a database so that would have to have a monthly cost so i i just made it manual as it is and i i use it for individual keywords when if i need to use it for multiple keywords that's when i i use uh, a script on google app script so in this fashion so when i'm targeting so let me just take you through the process of how i used this um tool for this target keyword so the target keyword is how to check the word count on google docs so i used um a keyword research tool to get the top pages for that keyword and i took a copy the content from those top pages so here you can see in the first uh in the first uh, block there under page 1 uh, i i pasted the content from page uh, the first ranking page and then in page 2 there you can see i pasted uh, the content from the second page and there were some videos that were ranking for that keyword so i just took the transcript and pasted in those uh, in the places where there are videos then in this box uh, and i this the second box beneath um is the keywords so i took the keywords that the pages were ranking for i pasted 
I pasted the keywords there for page one, for page two, I pasted the keywords there and so on until uh, page 10. So once I did that, then in this tool, you just click this process keywords button. You can click any keyword, any, you can click any of the buttons and it will just process everything at once. Then once you click that, it produces on the first um, output, it produces, it reproduces the keywords that are under that page with these annotations with a, a superscript and a subscript. The superscript indicates the number of pages that contain that specific word and the subscript indicates the number of keyword clusters uh, that contain that word. So basically, it shows you which pages have that word and which uh, keyword clusters have that word. Then this uh, second output beneath here, which shows the keyword terms and content terms, it just shows the unique words from the keywords and the unique words from the content. So there, it, it indicates it still, it still has the superscript and the, and the subscript. And the third output shows the keyword terms ordered by page count and the content terms ordered by keyword count. So, and here for the keyword terms, it's ordered by the page count and you can see the superscript is the page count and here it's ordered by from the least number of page count to the highest. And the content terms, it's ordered from, uh, ordered by the keyword count and, and the subscript is the keyword count. It's ordered from the least uh, number of keyword counts to the highest. So then the last output is the page count and the last output is what really matters most uh, for this case. Uh, there are many other use cases for these other outputs, uh, and I, I don't want to make it complicated right now, but uh, this last output is what matters most. And the page count, uh, the first column here is the page count of keyword terms. Uh, and the other column is the keyword count for the content terms. So this first column here for the last output is the most important. It shows 111 um, keyword terms uh, are not found in any of the pages. 111, uh, that's a significant uh, number to find that 111 terms in the, uh, 111 unique words in the keywords under this page one, I've not found in any of the top 10 pages. So that's, that's quite uh, a remarkable thing to find such that 111 unique words are not finding are not are not found in the top 10 pages. That's a significant gap. It basically shows that this um, Google Google is associating the target keyword with those terms, but the pages are not uh, featuring those terms. So as you can see there, Google is indicating what it wants, but the pages are not providing that. And there uh, could be various reasons. Sometimes some of the terms are not relevant for the target keyword, but there could be some terms 
And to find that out, you check these keyword terms by page count. And here you can scroll down and you can see words like calculate. There is no page that has the word calculate, drive. So drive is the Google Drive. There is no page that has Google Drive. And that's associated with, the, with basically Google Docs. And WordPad, Checker, Word count, Counters, Essays, Spell, WordCounter.com, um, English, Pick, word, word Solver, Word Count Tool, Feed, Counted, Say, Open Office. So those are terms that, um, and if you check closely, especially for the term Drive, you can see that the term drive is found in eight clusters. So eight of the top pages have the term drive, but zero have that uh, word drive in the content. So Google is closely associating that term with most of the top ranking pages, but none of them have that term. And that's uh, an indicator that Google is associating that term with the target keyword and the pages are not featuring it. So that's where, that's how I ended up producing this uh, video with the focus on uh, Google Drive and uh, Google Docs inside the Google Drive. So, and you can see in just uh, the first eight hours, you just search for word count on Google Drive. And this word count on Google Drive is actually a keyword that um, is part of the cluster in the, let me, let me show you that. Google Drive, Google Drive word count here. It's uh, part of the uh, uh, keywords in the cluster of page one. So basically, and, and word count on Google Drive. And you find it also in all the clusters of the other pages. Um, it, it uh, clusters. So basically it's related to, closely related to the uh, target search term of determining the word count in Google Docs. And you can see when you search word count on Google Drive, the first result is determining word count on Google Docs. So it's closely related. So once the content uh, starts ranking for that um, keyword, it will also uh, start ranking for the keyword of the word count on Google Docs eventually. And that's just eight hours ago I've, I've, I've posted that uh, video. So that's, uh, that's why I, I don't use Safa SEO as, let's say, the first uh, let's say, a uh, tool in writing, but I'll use it, I can use it now to check afterwards to see whether I have all the other related aspects of the top pages that have included a competitive advantage that is beyond what you get from the other pages. So if I were to optimize for con using Safa SEO, I would be creating content that is lacking a specific aspect. But by checking the, going through the process of going through individual keywords and also suffer SEO might not be very comprehensive in keyword clusters. You need to get the keyword clusters from SEO tools that produce a lot of clusters. 
And this is just one part of uh, the whole process. Um, there are keywords that don't. There are keywords that don't give many uh, classes for the ranking pages. So there are other methods of doing it. So that's why the video that I did seemed a bit. It might have seemed a bit complicated since. It might cover. It, it might have seemed that I was covering so many aspects, but the idea is to cover as many uh, possible opportunities in order to find maybe just one advantage. That's all, or for something that would be easy to rank, you end up finding hundreds of advantages uh, for, for for hard to compete with keywords you you end up with maybe just one two three advantages and that's what gives you an edge then when you add in the backlinks and domain authority then you have something better and you are not having to create so many backlinks or to build such a do domain authority or topical authority. So that's uh, now that's the alternative, the Safa SEO alternative. If you want that tool, uh, you can comment in the description and uh, I'll be able to send it to you. Uh, so just $5, that's all. Uh, because uh, it's, it's not, it doesn't have a subscription. So if you want to, to make it into um, an automated uh, tool uh, that would require a subscription, and I can make it also using Google Apps Script such that if you already have a subscription to a tool, you can use it on your own. So mm, you'll have to talk about how I can do that for you. So, and and this is just one feature. Uh, these other features I've not explained how to use them. And also, this is just a basic, this is the basic part, uh, this is just a basic tool. Uh, there are many other features that uh, also in check, but, it will just complicate this whole thing right now. So if you are interested in finding out more about that, uh, you can comment uh, in the description and then we can work out something uh, along those lines. So that's all for now.